Hello, my friends. May God bless you all. May God shine His face upon each one of you, that each one of you may be a seed that falling down on good ground, dying, will be born to produce many fruits. This is the will of God for each one of us. The Holy Spirit did not come to bless one person. He came upon all, everyone who surrendered themselves, all those who surrendered themselves, all those who have willingness to serve Him, all those who want to be used by Him. So, that's how I believe when He finds people that are available, willing, determined, fixated into do His will, then this person is rewarded with the Holy Spirit that they may know, understand what they have to do that He may be glorified in their lives. Very well. We were the day before yesterday speaking about the foolish and wise virgins. And yesterday, before the testimony of Ms. Janrira, I could interrupt the direction that the Holy Spirit gave to show to people that Ms. De Janeiro, a lady of 90 years old, since the beginning of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, 45 years ago, there she began faithful, faithful to God, persevering. She was the wise virgin that was used by the Holy Spirit, generated pastors that I spread all over this world, generated other people to get to know the Lord Jesus. And today they are, she is a living witness of the greatness of God. Those who mocked her, those who laughed her, her faith today, they see what God did and is doing in her life. So this testimony, I couldn't stop publishing. But coming back to the wise and foolish versions, the wise and the foolish ones, I would like you to think with me on something. If you examine very well, Jesus is saying that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom which our Lord reigns and is there forever. Jesus said in his prayer, Our Father who are in heaven. And he says to all, The kingdom of heaven shall be likened, it is already, it is already, likened to ten virgins. Ten virgins. Biblically speaking, in the biblical language, ten virgins are ten people who supposedly are faithful to God, who are sharing the same faith, are always in the church. Anyway, in one way or the other, they are serving God. Let it be only on Sundays and Wednesdays or every day. It depends on the virgin. And he says that the kingdom of heaven represents, is represented by ten virgins who are those people who were saved, sanctified, crowned, marked by the Lord Jesus. So, they are towards whom? They are towards an encounter with the Lord, the King, 
the king of the kingdom of heaven, which is the husband, which is the Lord Jesus. This all of you understand, all of you already know. But what just a few understand is the fact that the ten virgins out of the ten faithful people in the church, only half of them were wise, were perseverant, consistent in their faith. But the others who were not wise, the unwise, the unwise ones, Jesus don't call them unwise, even though they were the opposite of the wise ones, he calls them foolish ones. This word is too strong. What does it mean a person to be a fool, foolish? A fool one is someone who is out of their mind. They lost their mind, so they are fools. They don't have their mind in the right place. Without their mind, without reasoning, they do things that they don't even know that they are doing because they are fools. The fool ones, the crazy ones, the mad ones are put into mental institutions. You cannot count on them. They need to be separated from society. Why? Because they can do things that will bring evil things to the community. So Jesus calls out of the five virgins, fools, mad ones. They were virgins. They were faithful. In other words, let's put this way, faithful to Jesus. They had their lamps on. Yes or no? They had their lamps on. But they did not took oil, extra oil with them. What does that mean? Why they did not take extra oil, spare oil, to keep the flame alive? This is the question. Why were they considered fools before the Lord Jesus? Why? First of all, they go to meet the bridegroom and they don't have, let's say, fuel. The oil is a fuel that will keep the lamp alive. They don't take the spare oil there in case the bridegroom delays himself, in case the bridegroom takes a little bit longer. So to keep the flame alive, what does that mean? Why they did not take spare oil. Meanwhile, the wise ones, they did. Why? So, I see on these five foolish ones, I will define them as people who were they were careless. They were not careful, attentive, and because they were not careful, attentive, not having their eyes focused, fixated on the kingdom of heaven, of God, they went with what they had. They went along with the other five wise ones and they went together. They went in the procession. That's how it works. Do you know that story? There is a procession following a coffin. Let's put it this way. So those who knew the deceased one, they were there, downcast, crying for them. All were walking. But the five foolish ones were like those who saw the procession. Many people who entered, joined the procession, but they didn't have a clue on what was happening. They didn't know the deceased one. They didn't know the one who had died. They just followed the coffin. 
because they were seeing others following it. So I see these foolish ones as careless ones. People that they don't really care. People that take their faith, but not with that much faith, if you know what I mean. Because when it comes down to the kingdom of heaven, I think like this, I believe like this, and I'm going to live like this until the last day of my life. The kingdom of heaven for me is the most important thing for me in my life. The most important thing in my life is the conquest of the kingdom of heaven, which is my salvation, the salvation of my soul. So there's nothing more precious than to keep my faith, to keep my thoughts, to keep my heart, my life focused right on my encounter with the Lord Jesus, which is my salvation, which is the kingdom of heaven. This is the first thing in my life. I have my family. Thanks God. God gave me a wonderful family. Thanks God. But, however, even though I love them, still, my priority is the kingdom of heaven. It's my salvation. The priority is to follow my Lord step by step. My focus is always to be on Him. For example, daily I'm here talking to you, preaching the gospel, speaking, instructing. Daily we are giving what God has been giving us, sharing it with you. However, I have never, in no point of my life, I will relax with my faith, with my focus on the kingdom of heaven to do my work. No, I will do my work, but putting myself ahead of this work because I am focused on my Lord. I wait for him. Each day I live, each day I'm closer to my encounter with my Lord Jesus throughout eternity. So each day that I live, each day that I conquer, I know that the body is perishing day after day. The strength is diminishing little by little, but the spiritual strength of my intellect, my thought, does not come out of this. Each day that I live, thanks God, we are closer to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's it. I think like this. So, longer I take, longer it takes to have my encounter with the Lord Jesus, more I become firm. I hold on to I keep myself, I protect myself, I avoid, avoid the place or the places that will corrupt my conscience, my good conscience. So I prefer to stay at my tent, kept, protected on my wilderness, but with this conscience of wisdom, and understanding that I'm walking towards my encounter with my bridegroom. The five foolish ones, they did not leave this. They were trying to match the coming of the bridegroom, but at the same time, they were not taking care the spare oil that will keep their flame alive. That's why Jesus calls them foolish ones, because they will not prioritize the kingdom of heaven. They will not prioritize the bridegroom. They had their own preoccupations. So that made them to stay 
out. And this is what has been happening a lot to many who are pastors, assistants, members, and people, and etc. So when I see, for instance, a lady like Miss De Janeiro, that is 45 years in the faith, this gives me a joy in the soul. Thanks God, because Miss De Janeiro and so many other De Janeiros, they have been wise. Even before the fights, hardships, they kept themselves in the faith. They keep themselves in the faith and thanks God. And this is a glory to God. This is to sanctify the name of the Lord Jesus. But the fact is, these five foolish ones, they did not focus, they did not put all the strength of their lives into what they had knowledge about, the encounter with the bridegroom. And this, you who are watching me now, you who are praying now, in the early in the morning, you woke up early, you are praying, you are seeking God. This is wisdom. But many, they don't give attention to that. Many who are doing the fast of Daniel, many who are doing the fast of Daniel, they are fighting against the flesh, sacrificing themselves, etc. But others who don't want to do the fast because they say, I was already baptized with the Holy Spirit, I speak in tongues, thinking that the speaking in tongues is a sign of the baptism. I want to tell you that many people are taking their faith or the encountering the bridegroom, the conquest of the kingdom of heaven, anyhow, on the autopilot mode, saying, Oh, I already go to the church once a week. I'm going to fulfill my obligation. These people are fools because they don't prioritize it. They don't put all their strength on the conquest of what is eternal. The conquest of what is eternal because everything in this world is passenger. There will be no stone upon another. There will be no flesh upon another. There will be no bone upon another. There will be nothing upon nothing. All will burn. But the conquest of the kingdom of heaven is for eternity. So, you who are prudent, you have this vision. You have this focus. So, it's important the marriage it is important, the work, the job, the daily bread is important. It is. But the most important is to do the will of God. The most important is to live in the kingdom of God here on earth. And when we pass through this life, to enter the kingdom of heaven. Because the kingdom of God is here on earth. When you live in the pattern of faith, the standard of faith of the Bible, the Word of God. So it's the kingdom of God, it's the church of the Lord Jesus. And the kingdom of heaven is there in heaven, is where our eternal Father is. So he who has the focus on the kingdom of heaven does not scatter around, does not get distracted with something else. The first, the most important thing is the kingdom of heaven, the most important thing. More important than father, mother, children, relatives. Jesus said, he who loves your father, mother, children, your wife, your husband, more than I, is not worthy of the kingdom of heaven. So that is the truth, dear friends. When we have focus on the kingdom of heaven, everything in this world is passenger. What matters is to have our focus, our faith, is the determination that the five wise virgins they had, not only they taken their lamp with the flame alive, but they took spare oil, just in case if the bridegroom would take a little bit longer, 
they had were to have their needs supplied, but not the foolish ones. The foolish ones, they don't think. The foolish ones are not focused on the bridegroom, on the kingdom of heaven. And that's why they end up losing and being left outside. And that's what happens in this parable of Matthew 25. And you have to read with care. It's a very nice one, very strong. Read slowly and you will understand. Is that okay? We're going to stop here. Today, Wednesday, the Wednesday of the soul. You who want, you who want that your family may live at peace with you, that you may live with your family. You have the Holy Spirit, but inside your house there's only confusion because they don't understand you. You understand them, but they don't understand you. So take your family, invite your brother, sister, your wife, husband, anyway, your father, mother, take them. Because when the family receives the Holy Spirit, the family has peace. The family lives at peace. The family lives a peace of heaven down here on earth. God bless you, and until tomorrow, in the name of the Lord Jesus, amen.